Since the early days of radio, listeners have been able to pull in faraway stations from across the country and sometimes from around the globe. But with the advent of internet radio, listening to popular programming in Pamplona is as easy as tuning into the local radio station just a few miles away. No AP technology writer Peter Svensson takes a look at the latest Wi-Fi enabled tuners in this week's tech test. We have a lot of internet connected gadgets in the kitchen and the living room, but not so much in the kitchen. But I think there's a good case to be made for getting one there. And I'm thinking of a Wi-Fi internet radio. I tested four models of these and overall I was pretty pleased with what I found. In fact, I think that once you get one of these, you'll find it's a pretty indispensable thing to have around. My favorite was the COM1 Phoenix. Of the four models I tried, this was the only one that had uh, batteries inside. So you can unhook it from the wall outlet, bring it out to the patio, and still play your music via Wi-Fi. It's also pretty easy to set up and use. And I think the, the killer feature here is that it also does podcasts. Most of the other radios are just that, radios. They're uh, oriented towards getting streams of, of internet audio. Uh, unfortunately, it has the worst sound of the ones I tried. It, it, you see it has these wimpy little speakers. Uh, they're part of the reason it can work off batteries because they're small. They don't draw a lot of power but there's just no bass in them. Uh, this is fine for spoken word, but music does not really sound uh, great from the Phoenix. The Roku SoundBridge radio produces a much better sound. It has two stereo speakers in front and a, a woofer in the back for some awesome bass. And as you can see, it's a handsome model. It looks much like a uh, a radio of old, but is much more capable. Um, it's the most expensive model of the ones I tried. It's uh, almost $300. Um, and I'd give it top rating if it had better support for podcasts. It has uh, no uh, support for podcasts, really. And that's too bad. So won't you forget? The Grace Wireless Internet Radio is another handsome retro looking device um, and its sound quality is nearly as good as the Roku but it has only one speaker and mono sound uh, sounds kind of old-fashioned honestly uh, you don't hear that much nowadays and I think it's for good reason even if the sound quality is good if you crank up a mono sound source it still sounds kind of small however uh, the uh, Grace does produce good bass The runt of the litter would be the Alluratec Internet Radio Alarm Clock. Um, like the Grace, it also has a single speaker. Um, but the, the big problem with this one is the uh, software. I had persistent problems with that. Uh, one unit would not connect to my hotspots, and uh, both units I tried had problems playing music consistently from a USB flash drive. As you can tell, these gadgets have a wide variety of features. Uh, no one has really come along to kill this category and set the standard for others to follow like Apple did uh, with the iPod in the portable player space. But uh, what we have today is uh, pretty good, and I think uh, at least three of these four models deserve uh, a close look if uh, you want to make uh, the uh, kitchen a more happening place at home. For AP, I'm Peter Svensson.